Today, I'm going to be giving you a demonstration of Ableton Live's Groove Pool. So to access it, you go down here to these two squiggly looking lines where you can right click to browse the Groove Library. Here they have a lot of great presets, but you can also make your own grooves by right clicking and extracting the groove. It just adds it to the Groove Pool. where then you can apply the groove to any audio or MIDI file. Click on here under Clip, Groove. Now I can choose MPC or the drum loop demo that I extracted the groove from. Grooves affect timing and velocity data. So if you want to see what it's doing, click on one of the grooves. You can drag it over here. You see the velocities are different and the timings are off. The point of this is to give it a more humanistic feel instead of being on beat all the time perfect. Now applying these grooves is as simple as dragging these on top of the MIDI or audio files or dragging down here and then again you have to go to the MIDI clip or audio clip under groove and select the groove that you want. Now let me explain some of the parameters. First there's Quantize, which is a pre-groove Quantize, meaning that it affects the sound or MIDI file before the groove affects it. So essentially you can ungroove something before you apply the new groove to it. Next is Timing, and that affects how close to the groove you want your audio or MIDI file to be. So 100% matches the groove file exactly, while 0% leaves it unaffected. Next we have random, which adds an extra humanizing feel to it. I wouldn't recommend going above the tens or 20% on random, or else you're just gonna get something kind of ridiculous. The last one, velocity, affects how closely the audio or MIDI files match the velocity of the groove. So now that I've explained things enough, let's listen to it. Here's a MIDI file. Now let me apply the groove to it. See, it's kind of getting off beat and random. That's not what I'm looking for. Now, let's say I like this and I want to commit to it. Down here, right under where you select the groove, you can click Commit. And it actually moves the MIDI data for you. Now let's try out some audio. Let me delete these. Now let's select the same groove and let's click commit. Ooh, velocity information. I'm going to turn that off real quick. So you can see the before and after. It slightly shifts the transients to match the groove. The last thing I want to mention is the groove pulls a global amount right here and that affects how much the grooves are being applied to the audio or MIDI tracks. So essentially 100% is leaving them at these settings while 50% will half these settings. So timing will be 50%, random will be 7%. And half of zero is zero so velocity is not going to be changed. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. If you have any further questions, just leave a comment below or message me. And if you have any other ideas for tutorials, I'd appreciate you letting me know. Thanks for watching.